Just about anything can be made out of composites now. So things in your home, bathtubs, hot tubs, sinks, aircraft parts. I mean, I could just, I could continue going on for hours on things that are made out of composites. Composites are two or more materials that are dissimilar, that are combined together to make one product stronger than they would be by themselves. There's some basic things that it takes to make a composite. You gotta have a fiber, and we work with carbon fibers, uh, Kevlar fibers, and fiberglass fibers. And then you have to have a matrix system, which is the resin, um, and we work with epoxy resins, and it's just a, a two-part system. It's got a, uh, the resin and the hardener that makes, that makes it solidify when they're mixed together. If students are interested in manufacturing, um, in engineering, in composites, when they get that trade school certificate, those technical certificates, they're gaining a lot of hands-on experience. Um, so that will make them a lot better engineer. They take a lot of the technical courses and uh, go through technical programs. They're gonna have that foundation of how to actually build things um, and that reinforces you know, what they learn here. One of the things that I, I like about our program the most is our philosophy on using fun to teach students how to build all these different parts and operate this advanced equipment. I've got a guitar right here. We can teach a student how to build a guitar while teaching them the techniques to build, say, an F-35 part. Students can go into any of the industries that are using composites. We have students going and building uh, aircraft parts, F-35 parts, carbon fiber prosthetics. There's a lot of um, outdoor industry here. There's a lot of aerospace here. Uh, they hire a lot of, of students uh, out of this program to go work at those companies. And we have meetings with industry twice a year to make sure that we have the equipment and materials to teach the students on to stay up to date. If you look at the industry, they're looking for people that are learning not only what is the touch of how do you put this thing together, whether it's a, an infusion or a resin transfer mold or a prepreg, but the main thing is the why. What's, what's, why does it do what it does type thing? Because then you can understand when it comes time to make the next thing. Composite has two phases. Well, a composite worker should have two phases also. It's figuring it out and the one that's touching it and doing it. And those are the best students. In high school, I took some concurrent enrollment classes and I had to take them at advanced learning centers. I didn't like design, so I decided to go into manufacturing and my dad had been working with plastics and composites, so I did an internship with him at his company and uh, found that I loved composites and everything is moving towards that, so I knew I'd be guaranteed a job. So I decided to go through the plastics and composites and just keep falling in love every class I take. Coming out of high school, um, didn't really have anything to look forward to as far as like football or basketball because of my education. So I decided to join the Job Corps program. They had a nice little college program uh, at Davis Tech here. So I joined the manufacturing program which uh, has pretty much the core trades including composites and as soon as I got into composites I loved it. You have the opportunity to like build stuff that you wanted to and what's nice about Weber itself is the classes are small and so there's two of us in one of these classes and instead of taking exams, she's now helped us bring out some of our, our wants and desires that we want to build. And so I've actually been able to make my own sole of a shoe. It's got the Weber State W on it, so every time I walk, it'll imprint the Weber State W. But I will also have the opportunity to build the rest of the shoe out of composites as well. So I'll be able to lay up and see if I can figure out how to make the straps and then the, the midsole and the sole itself. So it's really cool. Being a female in the male-dominated industry, it was, it was hard because girls adapt really well in their environment, but with um, engineering in a male-dominated field, it's intimidating, especially because most of the teachers are male as well. So the one thing I'd want everybody, or at least for sure females, to know is that you're just as smart as them, and working together is way better because you have different ways of looking at things. I've learned a lot more than I thought I would have because of the people I'm surrounded by. 
A technical education is a good way to pursue a career faster. I only took like a year to do all composites and I'm already going to go into the industry, make some money for myself and after this go to college. I think uh, it would be a good stepping stone to better yourself.